Hey everybody, this is John Schwabish from policyviz.com and on today's Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to align numbers in an Excel table so that they're centered in the cell but still aligned along the comma or the decimal. So let's go over to the table that I have here. What I have is for a number of cities in the United States. I've got the average temperature in Celsius from each month. These data come from Wikipedia. Also the data I use in a heat map tutorial that you can also find on the YouTube channel. So let's say we've got this table here. It's already in Excel. Now let's say instead of just showing the data this way, we are for whatever reason, or just imagine your use case, we have some lines along the borders of our different months here. So that we've got all these different borders, or maybe we have some kind of grid. You could just imagine this having a table that's set up like this. Maybe it's not as long as a table like this, but you know, you've got it sort of set up. You've got some grid lines, you've got some things to help differentiate the header area from the text or whatever like that. So now what we have here, the numbers are all right aligned, which looks really nice, right? We wanna have our numbers aligned along the decimal or along the comma. But wouldn't it be nice if we could put these numbers in the center of the cell? Well, you could simply just click the center format up here in the home tab and center the text. But notice now that these numbers just look right over here, for example, these numbers are no longer aligned along the decimal. One of, one of the good techniques about good table design is having our decimals aligned. So let's undo that, put that back over to the right. And instead, what we can do is we can indent the number. So I'm gonna go right next door here into the indent menu, and I'm just gonna increase the indent. I'm gonna move it right into the center of the cell. You can see that the lines, the numbers are still aligned along the decimal. I can just go simply over here. I can align these as well, or because they're text, I can just center them right in the cell, and there I go, I'm done. So all I need to do is use that indent feature up here in Excel to center all the numbers in the cell or in the column or in the row, so but still maintain the alignment along the decimal. That's really the most important thing that you wanna consider when you are making a table like this. So check out the heat map tutorial that is also on YouTube so that you can better understand how to use these exact data to create a heat map.